BTI TV, Business, Technology, and Innovation. And like I like to say, it's showtime. So we've been doing so good at introducing our Black-owned businesses. We've been in South Carolina. We were in Detroit. We've been in Jersey. We've been in Jersey a couple of times. Shout out to Jersey because Jersey has a lot going on there. So shout out to you guys. Um, before I start my show tonight, tonight's show is sponsored by The Blessing Box. The Blessing Box is, is a, a business that's run by my cousin, my sister, my friend, Willette Baines. She inherited this from her brother, Wade Baines. Um, anybody wanting to do any type of donation for the holiday or a donation just because, reach out to Willette Baines and The Blessing Box. She's um, doing funding for Christmas. She's doing coat drives. She's doing um, Christmas, no, not Christmas, Thanksgiving baskets for the for people and everybody. So anybody who wants to give donations to a legitimate business, check out the Blessing Box. Thank you, Willette Baines, for all that you do. So again tonight, we're back in New Jersey. And again, we are still sponsoring and we're still recognizing our black owned businesses. So tonight I have a very young person. I love this person and I'm gonna bring her in. And here she comes. Hey Asia, how are you? Hey everybody, how are you? So Asia, introduce yourself. Hey, so this is Asia with Explore with Asia. Um, as you all know, um, basically, I'm here to tell you guys about traveling. Um, that's my business. That's my heart. Um, traveling and making sure that you guys go to where you need to be, not only safely, but making sure that your dreams come true when you travel. So I'm here today to talk about it. <laughs> Thank you. Let me, let me get my stuff right. Okay. So Asia, so how long have you been doing um, Explore with Asia? So I started Explore with Aisha, um at the top of 2019, and I've been doing it ever since. So how did you come up with the name Explore with Aisha? So I came up with the name Explore with Aisha with the help of my parents. It is very important to have a great support system, and they are definitely the great ones. Um, we just sat in a room one day, and I said, you guys, I want to start a business. I told them about the business, and I said, um... I need y'all to help me think of a name. And I'm like, okay, let's brainstorm. So we thought about it and Explore with Aisha is like, we all agreed to and say, yes, that's definitely it. So Explore with Aisha. So the business, what is it all about exactly? What is it that you do? So Explore with Aisha is me basically planning trips, booking flights, um, any adventure that you think in your head that you wanna go to is my job to make sure that happens. So when you come to me with an idea, I put it all together for you. I put the package together for you. And when I can't come back, all you gotta do is pay. <laughs> pay, pack your bags and go. That's pretty much how it is. I like to make it nice and easy for everybody. Um, simple, because a lot of times when you wanna go somewhere, you don't know where to start. So my job is to make sure I plan everything, make it easy for you. So all you have to do is pay for it and go, pretty so much. Um, is there a, is, is there a, a deposit or a down payment for your services? It is. So the way I go, um, start off with it is basically, um, a phone consultation. So this phone consultation is me basically asking questions, trying to figure out what type of trip you want, who's coming on this trip, um, all of the details of it. It is a $50 um, fee. Um, that's not refundable. So that just lets me know that you're serious about booking these trips. It lets me know that this idea is not just the idea that you actually want to go. So I start off with that. And from there, we move forward. Um, I take maybe two to three business days to come up with your package. And after that, I come up with the package. Um, I basically go over it with you. And from there, if you're ready to book, we go ahead and book. So have you ever had anyone that um, say, okay, Asia, I want to do this. And then, you know, at that time they changed their mind. And they just don't do it. Yes. Yes. And I'm glad you asked that because a lot of times we have people that have a great idea and they say, I want to do this. But sometimes things doesn't don't always work out the way that, you know, you plan on it. So um, a lot of times people say, I want to go to Dubai, for example. Right. 
And then you start to realize how much Dubai is. <laughs> and you start to realize about the flight. And you start to realize that the people that you wanted to go with changed their mind. So um, a lot of times you say, oh, Asia, I'm sorry. I'm not going to be able to go. And that's okay. Somebody said, hello, my beautiful daughter. Still Hi. Yes, that's one of my biggest supporters, too. That's my friend's father. He's been a supporter since day one. I think having, having a support system is one of the biggest things with having a business because there is a lot of stress and stuff that's on you. So yes. with this, would you say that it becomes overwhelming at times? And if so, how do you overcome this? So um, I also... Yeah, I do become overwhelmed sometimes when it comes down to different things because I like to put my complete all into it. So um, for instance, if I do get overwhelmed and things like that, I take a second to myself and say, okay, I'm going to create a time limit. I'm going to create a boundary. So when this ends, I know that I'm going to put this aside and think of something else. I'm going to have a work-life balance, and that's really important. Asia, Cynthia said, hey, Asia. Hello, mother. <laughs> <laughs> so... When a, a person says to you, I want to go on vacation, they put down mm -hmm. their, their deposit, you do your mm -hmm. due diligence to find something that they would really want to do. And at the last minute, they back out. How do you handle that situation? So um, I start off by being up front with everybody. At the beginning, I tell you, if you do decide you want to cancel, your deposit is non-refundable. So I keep that. That goes into the account um, for... A rainy day fund, it goes into account for different things I want to do as far as promotion and things like that. But I let them know from the beginning, if you do decide to back out, that's fine. But you don't get your money back. So that's how I pretty much go from there. You mentioned promotion. What form of uh, marketing promotion do you use? So um, I use a lot of social medias as a platform. Um, from time to time, I do giveaways. Um, and that's a big thing, too. I like to do different gift cards and things like that, but I'm not going to tell y'all all my secrets. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yes, I do social media as a platform. Um, I have certain different business cards and things like that I hand out. Um, sometimes I do flyers. Also, it's word of mouth. I'm um, getting my family and friends and things like that to pass on the word. So Willette said um, that you planned a perfect birthday getaway to Jamaica for her. How was that? Walk me through that. Okay. So when I planned the trip for Willette, Willette came to me and she says, Asia, I want to go to Jamaica for my birthday. I said, okay. She says, I know, I know that you do this and I just need you to do everything for me. I pay and I, and you know, I, let me just go to Jamaica. So I said, okay, fine. So we sat down. She told me exactly what she wanted. Um, she even had a place in mind that she wanted to go to. So I said, okay, I'm going to look into this place. I'm going to check out the reviews. I'm going to make sure that this place is safe for you to go to. What do you like to do? So I walked her through the steps and I asked her multiple different questions. She answered it for me. So I said, okay, um, go ahead and, you know, you can pay your deposit. She paid the deposit with no problem. And I like that. <laughs> and then <laughs> and then from there, she said, um, I told her, I said, okay, you know, give me three business days. Within three business days, I'm going to come back to you with a package. And this package is going to include different resorts that you may want to like um, go to. Is going to include prices. Is going to include um, things that you may want to do nearby. I don't do excursions, but I provide some things that may be in the area that you would like to do when you get there. Um, I told her flight. She wanted me to include flights. I put everything all together in the package. So we went through it thoroughly, um, and she said, "Okay, this is the place I want to go to. Can we go ahead and book?" I said, "Okay." I went through the process, booked everything for her. And then um, afterwards, when it gets closer to the date, I want to talk to the people. I want to make sure that they are okay. They're set to go. Um, I go over some tips that I usually give them. Okay, in this location, this is going to be the weather. So you may want to pack this and this um, on your flight. Do you Have you been to this airport before? No, yes. And we go from there pretty much. I make sure I walk them through every step. So <clears throat> now with everything going on with this COVID and everything, how are, how, 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 let me say this correctly. I'm just like stuttering. Um, no, the restrictions and everything. How mm -hmm. is that working? Like as far as the restrictions with, 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 with the um, airports. And I know like with the, with the cruises, they're saying that they're going to raise the prices and everything. So as far as their restrictions, let's talk a little bit about that. Okay. 
So as you know, COVID-19 has definitely been a shaker for us. It has shaken the world up and we didn't know it was coming. So um, as far as trips, as far as people like myself that like to travel all the time, I had a couple of trips booked in 2020 that actually got canceled. Um, in addition to other people, they had the same thing. So as of right now, they're a little bit more lenient with where you can possibly go, but it's up to your discretion. So if you go to a place and they allow you in that place and you make it back home safely <laughs> and then realize you may have COVID-19, it is your responsibility to then quarantine. It's your responsibility to also a good thing that people have been doing too is quarantining before you leave taking that COVID test, quarantine if you can possibly do so when you're at that location. And then also um, taking the test when you're leaving or when you come back. So it's important that you are, if you are traveling and you think it's safe to do so, that one, you wear your mask. Two, that you sanitize, you wash your hands constantly. Three, you need to make sure that you're social distancing as much as possible. And four, it is important that you take these COVID tests to make sure that you're negative or positive either way it needs to be taken because if it's not taken you don't know it's some true. people don't have symptoms wow you said a lot asia <laughs> i said, did i did a lot. but you said a, a, a lot of good stuff but you know what mm -hmm. my thing is if, if if you're away on vacation right mm -hmm. how can you quarantine when you're away on vacation to me that seems like it would be the hardest thing to do to quarantine on vacation well, I guess it's okay. So when you're going on these trips, even though these are the places that you always wanted to go, mm -hmm. the places that you, um, you know, you genuinely would like to have fun in, um, social distance come into place when, when you're going to different places, you try to have fun as much as possible, but you also want to make sure you're not in big groups of people. Um, if you're staying at a resort, it's important that you keep you and your group or you and your, whoever you're traveling with, it's mm -hmm. just y'all all together okay um if you're quarantined in these places you stay where you need to be you need to make sure that these places are safe because if you're migrating to place to place you're in different vehicles you're di in different venues events and things like that it starts to get a little bit hectic and you never know what you can catch in these multiple places sure. so i guess reducing the amount of places that you go to if you are traveling and making sure that you as a group or you as an individual stay as safe as possible do you um Say like okay in Jersey, if somebody needed like a, a weekend, a weekend getaway in Jersey, because I know now they don't want you to go from state to state. So like a weekend mm -hmm. getaway or a day trip in Jersey, do you also do those also? I do, I do. So if you are trying to do a weekend getaway from a different state, um, of course, as your you know your thing. If you want to go, it's up to you completely. Um. I don't encourage it. I don't not encourage it. It's definitely up to you. I just ask that you be safe, but I do do them. Um, and then I would just try to find a place. I will let you know the COVID restrictions because different places that you stay in all have restrictions right now. They all have policies in place. So you want to make sure if you are going to these spots that you make sure that you're staying as safe as possible again. I can appreciate you saying that you do your due diligence as to check out these places ahead of time to let everybody know that that's mm -hmm. good because that means that even though it's a business, you care about your customers. It's not just about collecting their money. You also mm -hmm. about, care about them. Alyssa said, what's the hot spot to travel now? Um, so as of right now, a lot of people are traveling to Florida. Um, whether or not it's safe or not, that's, that's up to you. Um, and then it's very important, too, that if you are traveling to these places like Florida, um, another place that people are generally traveling to um, is the different islands. Um, some people are traveling to not Jamaica, but I believe um, what was the other place that a lot of people are traveling to? Now it's like on the top of my brain, but I can't say it. Um, <laughs> let me see. Uh, well, I'm just going to say the Caribbean islands. OK, certain places in the Caribbean islands people are traveling to because they're not completely restricting you, but those are like the hot places that people are going to, either Miami or people are going to like, um, I don't know, like Coco Keys and stuff like that, and then the Caribbeans. So those are like main places. 
Alyssa said Tulum. I don't know about that place in particular. I would have to do a little bit of research on it. I haven't known anybody that traveled there recently. I'm sure people are traveling there, but like I, didn't, I haven't heard of anybody traveling there um, as of yet. We went there, but it wasn't recent that we went there. Because mm -hmm. that first cruise that we did, and we yeah. went. Yeah. Yeah, so I haven't heard anything recently about people traveling there for sure. Alyssa said that she sees tons of people going there. Okay, so, so that's also good to talk about it too, because I haven't heard anybody going there. But of course, everybody are in different circles and see other people. So it may be people still going there, but I haven't. So that's good to know. Thank you. Um, well, let's say I've seen people traveling to the Caribbean, but to quarantine there. So they're going there just to quarantine. Um, so, I mean, there are resorts and things like that. They may not be, which is the thing about traveling right now, too. Um, some people are getting discounted rates, right? Because not a lot of people are traveling. Mm -hmm. Some people are scared to travel. So when you get to those resorts, it may be a couple people there. So technically, you may see a couple people from your time there, but most of the time, it's just you and whoever you came with. So I think I, I'm thinking that pretty much what this whole traveling thing is now is is your tolerance for safety. Because like, yes. you know, I had I had trips trips and things that were planned for this year, which were canceled. Mm -hmm. But like mm -hmm. right now, I'm not going to lie, I am afraid. I am definitely afraid. And the reason why I think that I'm afraid with this whole traveling thing is because I know mm -hmm. myself. I know mm -hmm. how I do, how I take care of myself. I know that I don't mind social distancing. I don't mind mm -hmm. wearing a mask. But for the life of God, some people, they just don't see the need to wear a mask. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah I put myself in a situation. I'm either going to protect myself from COVID or I'm going to jail because somebody is not going to do the right thing. Then we're going to end up fighting. You know what I'm saying? It's so true. <laughs> it's definitely true. Um, and that's the thing about it, too. Some people don't take it as seriously as others. Yeah. So you have to realize that when you're out and about, you're going to see people that don't have a mask. You're going to see people that still hugging and kissing each other. You're going to see it. But it's up to you to remember, I want to protect myself. So let me keep on this mask, even though it might be hot, even though it might, you can't breathe too much. I got to keep this on because I know that I'm trying to protect myself at the end of the day. And from what we see, it's been proven that the masks do work. As far as transportation, the planes and the trains, what's the situation with those? So there's different restrictions on the planes. And it all depends on the airport that you go to. It all depends on the company that you travel with, the airlines. Um, some places and things like that you're going are doing social distancing. So as far as it being a three seater, it's a separation going on where is one sit person sitting in that row or it may be two in a gap in between. And then you have some airlines that I don't want to say don't care, but they're not as concerned. They're just making sure you have sanitizer, making sure you wear your mask and things like that. So it's really important that you realize and also think twice before you actually travel with certain things. For example, like if you're in a train, it might be a little different than when you're on a bus, right? If you're taking an Uber, it may be safer, it may not be safer. So you have to just take in consideration the different ways you travel. And always sanitize. Sanitize, washing your hands, that's really important because that might can kill a lot of things. It's been proven too. So um, as far as, as the prices for traveling, are the prices up or down? I'm going to say is a mixture of both. Depending upon where you're going, some are low. Other than that, since they may be high risk places, since um, a lot of people may be traveling to those places, the prices change and it may be up. So one, it depends on when do you when you're looking at these places. Right. Then it goes by how often people are traveling to these places, because you also have to realize that everything is comp competitive right now. So if a lot of people are looking at that place at that time, the price is going to be up. But if people haven't looked at it in a while, then you may get a flight for $100 or so. If you come back on a Friday, it might be $300. <laughs> so so with this whole COVID thing, how has it affected you and Explore with HA? So as of right now, COVID has affected Explore with HA, like a lot of small business owners in a way, um, since 
it's been restricted for traveling and things like that. Not a lot of people are traveling right now. And if they are, they're trying to be discreet about it, right? So um, it has affected it in many ways because some people aren't traveling. Some people say, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to wait a year or two, right? Or you travel, you cancel, your trip may be canceled and you say, okay, what's the point of keep on booking trips if they're going to get canceled? So um, I say right now is a little bit lower than usual. Um, people are still booking trips, but it's not as um, often as it used to be. So you can correct me if if if, if I'm wrong, but um, I heard something or I read something, and that they were saying as far as cruises, they weren't offering any um, insurance now. They was like, if anything happens that you get sick, you catch corona or whatever, that this is gonna be out of your pocket. Is that they're not gonna be responsible anymore? Have you heard anything about? Yes. That? So um, that is a thing too. And then also the fact that they're giving a lot of trips for a little bit less um, because one is, I wouldn't say it's a tester, but in a way it's a tester because they want to see if you're going to these places, how many people are going to come back with it, right? Mm. So you're risking your life, but it's also you do it at a discounted rate, right? Because they're going to give you these places and they say, okay, if you want to go to Mexico, for example, right? We can give you a three-day trip to Mexico for $200, whether or not you get it while you're there, whether or not you get it in contact with people, nobody really knows. So they're still offering them. Some places are completely like, no, nobody's coming in here. Other places is like, yeah, we, we allow it, but there's a certain capacity. And this whole thing with this insurance, they're really not offering the insurance to people? I would have to look into that one. I'm not too sure. Um, each cruise line is different. So I have to look at each one and pretty much see what they're doing. I haven't seen anything about insurance wise, but then and again, I haven't booked any cruises recently since they've been canceled. Okay. So um, as far as cruise lines, are, are they all up and running there or is it still like a hit and miss? Um, I would say it's a hit and miss. Some are offering small because I've been getting a lot of um, emails and things like that of promotions going on. Um, I don't think they are running. They may be running at a lower capacity right now. So like maybe like a two day trip or a three day trip and some are saying just book for the future. Wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. So what is the hardest thing about about this Asia? The hardest thing about it is each place is different. Each person is different. So not only are you catering to the people, you need to make sure that you're looking into the different states and countries as well. Because you have to remember, everybody's rules isn't the same. So as far as you may be traveling from New York to, for instance, uh, say Massachusetts, right? Or you may be traveling from New Jersey to Afghanistan, right? <laughs> Completely different things. Yeah. So you want to make sure that you look at each rule, each regulation. So it's pretty much trying to figure out what's best for the person and then also what's best for the business too. Have you ever had anybody say to you, Asia, I want to go on vacation. I don't know where I want to go. This is my budget. Just plan or something. Just, just hook me up. Yes. Um, and then that's also why I like to travel. Because um, in those cases, I say, well, these are the places that I travel. Look through these places. Are any of these places interesting to you? And they say, yeah. So tell me a little bit about this place. And I say, okay, well, sure. When I went to this place, is this what I did? Sometimes I have some pictures about it, you know, and show them. They say, oh, yeah, book that one for me. I like that place. Because some people don't know. They just know they don't want to be home. They want to get out of here. Let me see. Well, that says she's even checked to make sure that um, we didn't travel during hurricane season. She's the best. So I take That's this. To, <clears throat> I'm sorry. <clears throat> I take this to mean that Willette has traveled with Explore of Asia. A couple of times. Yes. So let me tell you a little bit about Willette. So <laughs> Willette is my lovely cousin. Um, she's like actually. Like to, like to. <laughs> yes. So um, she's actually one of the people that motivated me into getting this business going. And when I say that, I mean, Willette is the one that inspired me to do Explore with Aisha. Um, When we were traveling together, I booked the trip, we went on a trip, and actually on a shuttle to, we were going on a cruise. On a shuttle to the actual cruise ship, she says to me, Asia, how do you know how to do all of this? I said, what do you mean? She said, you just did everything. You walked me through the airport, you booked everything. You just 
You just know what you're doing. You didn't even second guess it. And I said, what are you talking about? She's like, you did everything. I didn't even realize I did it. So she told me, she says, Asia, you got to think about this. This is your talent. And I said, what? And I was like, what are you talking about? And she's like, this is your true talent. So she's the one that inspired me. She said, you should make it into a business. And I said, okay, I'll think about it. So this was at the beginning of the trip. By the end of the trip, I think it was maybe like a six day trip. In the trip, I came back to her and I said, I want to do it. I don't know how, but I want to do it. And she says, we will figure it out. We will get it together. And here I am almost a year later um, doing everything, you know, and it just, it just comes so easy to me. And I didn't even realize it from the beginning. So sometimes you need that one person or two people to let you know, like, this is, this is what you do and you have to claim it and own it. Yeah. So have you had any, any bad situations with this business? And if so, how did you handle that situation? Um, so I'm going to say bad situations as far as I said, you know what? I won't, I'm sorry. <clears throat> I won't say bad situation. I'll say bad experience. Okay. Challenges so, is good. Yeah. So a challenge that I had with this business is group trips. So I want to say group trips because a lot of times people don't realize that when you're in a group, you have different opinions, right? Yeah. So with that, that means that if it's one person handling everything, they have to listen to all the different opinions, right? Yeah. So that's challenging to get everybody to come onto the same page, right? Um, so with dealing with that, I had to um, pretty much bring everybody. It's important that communication is key. So you bring in everybody together. You're letting everybody know what it is from the beginning and also making sure that everybody is all together on the same page with it. Because if you're talking to one person, you're talking to other person, it's kind of hard to make sure that everybody's on the same page. So getting everybody in the same room is key. <laughs> so getting them on the same page, because like you said, you got different people, you got different attitudes, different temperaments, different people want to do different things. So how do you bring them all together in that one room to put them all on the same page? You give them options. So I realized, and also it helps too, because I went to school for psychology. So it, <laughs> giving them options, but a limited amount of options gives them only but so much to go off of. Yes. So when working with people and you give them two options, if you say, hey, it's either A or B, they only have the option to pick A or B. But if you say, what do you think? Then bam, it's all out there. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can get anything. So you have to give them options and say, okay, majority rules. Are we going with option A or option B? And you go with basically how many people pick those options and go from there. AJ, I'm so proud of you. And, and you have a great handle on, you know, what you're doing. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to go at the, in April when well, none of us was because COVID had other plans. But even with yes. that, you had it down to a science exactly of what was going to go in, go on. I can respect you for the fact that, again, because this means more to me than anything else, is that when a person is doing something, it's not just about the money. I mean, money is important, but it's also mm -hmm. important that the people that you are working with or working for have a great experience. So that person will refer somebody else to you. I'm glad that you do your due diligence as far as to find out the weather, to find out any restrictions, if it's in a hurricane, anything that, that people should know. Because a lot of people, they'll say, I want to go someplace, but to sit down, mm -hmm. to dig into it, to find out exactly what's what, they're not going to do that. You know what I'm saying? So for yes. them to trust you enough, well, that said, she sure did and handed all of our funds, our refunds. <laughs> so that was a good thing. And what well, Willette was saying that, you know, how you handle everything and you made sure everybody got back their refunds and everything. So that's important. It's very important because when you mm -hmm. do that, you know, you know what I tell people? Your brand is your name. So True. when people hear, explore what a Shay, what do they think? You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's yeah. a good trip. Or you don't want to bother her. You don't, don't you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's your, your experience means a whole lot and you only get one chance. <clears throat> We're coming down to the end, but I want to give you a chance to just, just to speak freely. 
anybody out there that wants to do what you were doing, what advice would you give to them? Um, I would say anybody that wants to start a black owned business first, make sure that whatever you do, you take it to heart. You make sure that's like your baby. So you won't want this business to show for yourself. So anything that you, you want, it has to represent you at the end of the day, like you said. So that means being organized. That means having everything together from the beginning. So if anybody has any questions, any regulations, even if you're starting at the beginning, you do it as you go, but you claim it, you own it. Thank you, Asia. And if anybody wanted to get in contact with you for, imp for any information, how could they reach out to you? Um, they can reach out to me by messaging me on Facebook, um, Instagram. Also, I have an email, explore with a Shea, LLC at gmail.com. Um, I check my email daily. So book with me. You won't be disappointed. <laughs> Asia, thank you so very much for coming in. You gave a lot Thanks of for having me. Oh, it was it, it was my. Hold on. It was. Oh, hold on, Asia. Somebody, somebody want to um, give a message to you, so I just want to make sure that you see the message. Okay. This is Karima Patterson. Yes, mm -hmm. cousin. I'm going to support you as soon as COVID is over. Yes, thank you so much. And I've been getting that a lot, too, so I appreciate all of the support, you guys. And trust me, when this is over, we all going on a trip. We're going to make it happen. <laughs> well, from what, from, from what I'm hearing from and I say this man's name wrong, but it's okay. What's his name? Dr. Fucci? That's his name? I think so. Fucci? Yeah. Fucci said by after March that things should be a little better because it's been, they, they said that it's been, what, 10 months? I said it's been a year that we've been going through this right here. So we mm -hmm. pretty much know how to govern ourselves. If everybody just, you know, just be safe about it. I do yeah. think that by the second quarter, that we should all be able to, you know, to get out there to do things. Cause me, myself, I'm afraid to, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. I'm afraid. And that's understandable. <laughs> because I think what it is, it's the unknown that has everybody. So, you know what I'm saying? As so true. Me, it's hard for, for, for me to have a good time when I'm looking at people and trying to see um, who you, who's covered and who's not. Yeah. And, uh, Thank you so very much for coming on the show. You gave a lot of great information. I really appreciate it. You guys, anybody interested in traveling, reach out to Explore with Aisha. She's on Facebook. She's on Instagram. She gave you her email address. She's going to be on my page. And this is also going to go on my YouTube channel also. Um, you guys share this information. Pass it on to your friends because we will travel again. Thank you, Asia. Good night. It's been my pleasure. Have a good night. You likewise.